Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is a 24-7 update. This is for Wednesday, April 3rd, really a famous day in Alabama weather history. Uh, We've had a lot of big events on this date, including the super outbreak of tornadoes in 1974. But hey, nothing like that today, just a little rain and a pretty good rain uh, soaker coming up tonight and tomorrow. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning at 5 a.m. That's our Birmingham Skycam as seen from high atop the Daniel Building looking north. There's a look at traffic along 280 early this morning coming from the Inverness Skycam. Not many folks out there at this hour of the day. And that's one of our newer Skycams in Fultondale, uh, just off Interstate 65 to the uh, north of downtown Birmingham. It's cloudy and it's cool. And ooh, look at the MCS, Mesoscale Convective System, coming off of the uh, southeast Texas coast. That blew through Houston last night uh, in advance of that uh, upper trough that's off to the west. And initially, that big batch of rain will stay south of, as you can see it on the uh, uh, composite there. Uh, the, the bigger storms are off in the Gulf, just uh, soaking rains falling over parts of uh, Louisiana and south Mississippi. And we'll see a bit of light rain today, but the heavier stuff should come tonight and tomorrow. Uh, temperatures early this morning are indeed mostly in the 40s. Birmingham at 46. Uh, Haleyville, the cool spot at 42. But of course, with the clouds, no frost to issues. Convectively speaking, this is the uh, day one outlook. No no formal risks. Very low end, severe weather possibilities near the immediate Gulf Coast. And then tomorrow, there is a slight risk uh, over North Florida. Extreme southeast Alabama and southwest Alabama, like Gulf Shores is in that and Dothan. But I really think the better chance of severe weather will be south of Interstate 10. That means Jacksonville, Tampa Bay, Orlando. Uh, Daytona, places like that. And I'll have to watch uh, that one pretty carefully as they'll be in the warm sector. We will not. We'll be in the cool sector. Just a cool, rainy day tomorrow. And then on day three, which is uh, Friday, low end 5% possibilities, mainly south of Interstate 4 down in South Florida. And at this point, the guys do not have anything up in the day four through eight outlook, but I'll bet you a Coca-Cola or a Pepsi-Cola that will change in uh, in coming days as it looks like we will have a significant severe weather set up uh, next week coming out of the uh, Rockies as you'll see this is the rain for the next five days uh, about an inch here bigger numbers on the immediate Gulf Coast they'll be get some soaking rains down there today and tomorrow but if you're beach bound the weather for the weekend looks good they'll be in uh, back in sunshine by uh, Saturday and Sunday should be a great weekend this is the OZGFS valid at one o'clock today at 500 millibars Trough over the northeast United States, strong uh, trough west of here. And uh, down below that, uh, this lead impulse will likely bring some rain today. But again, the big rains will be coming in here uh, really tomorrow. Now, this is tonight, late tonight at uh, just after midnight. This is suggesting there might be a break in the rain, but that main surface low is developing south of the Louisiana coast. And then tomorrow, that low is moving northeast, and it's just south of Pensacola Bay. And uh, that looks to be a very wet day. And again, East and southeast of that low, and again, mainly along Interstate 10 and south, there could be some severe weather. So if you happen to be in uh, North Florida, Central Florida, just be aware of that. There uh, might even be a tornado or two down there. But around here, just wet. Rain amounts uh, over the next 48 hours should be close to one inch. Friday, that thing takes off to the northeast. Uh, You know, we might see some wrap around moisture i'm not so sure the sun comes out at all we'll we'll try and be optimistic and forecast maybe some clearing and it should be a cool day friday with a high in the low to mid 60s we will clear friday night and yes a beautiful weekend saturday will be sunny with mid 70s the gfs is showing 75 same thing sunday partly to mostly sunny and 75 both days so just a great weekend Uh, next week moisture starts to come back A mixture of clouds and sunshine. Temperature is probably pushing 80. And we'll be watching that low developing on the New Mexico-Texas border. Now, here's Tuesday of next week. And, hey, this is April 9th. And anytime you see a trough like that and it's April, look out. The surface low is developing near Lubbock, Texas, under 1,000 millibars. And that looks very stormy for 
uh, Dallas Fort Worth and uh, Little Rock and Shreveport, maybe Jackson. And then Wednesday at midday, the surface low is near St. Louis. And again, that puts us clearly in the warm sector. And that looks like a severe weather setup. Just quickly, we'll look at these numbers. And we don't want to focus on these because it's just too early to be really specific. But again, this is a week out. But this is uh, Wednesday evening of next week at uh, 7 o'clock local time. The air is unstable. The bigger numbers are down south. But uh, the shear numbers are very high and clearly We'll have some risk of severe weather out there, but it's just too early to define this. You know the, the magnitude of this and the risks involved. Uh, we'll be able to do that in coming days. And then on uh, Thursday the twelfth, ooh, look at the colder air coming in behind that. And on Friday morning, April twelfth, could it be? That we might have to look at a frost. You know, just yesterday I was saying ninety percent chance we're done with it. Well, that little 10% is creeping back in there, but let's, we'll look at future runs. But again, growers, just be aware of that. That's uh, Friday morning, April 12th. That morning, or maybe the next morning, Saturday, might offer some frost possibility if this is correct. And that's a big if because this is beyond seven days, and we all know there's just not much skill in forecasting specifics out there. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 18th of April. Got a cold front coming in, but that does not look like a severe weather risk, if by chance that's right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget to watch ABC 3340 News if you can on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.